Now yeah. you said you said uh you said a name, you said Lil Duval. Y'all was cool at one point. Yeah. We was real cool. So what happened with the whole situation <laughs> with you and Duval? <laughs> I, I, I always wondered because you know, comedians are known to be funny. They are known to laugh, they're known to be jovial. So, you know, you kind of usually don't know when they're being serious because they're known to be funny. So how does a comedian get to the point of being that serious to the point of, <laughs> of, of, of putting paws or something on somebody? Man, it was a real atmosphere in Atlanta then. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? It like, that was, that was atmosphere. And then, you know, we was like comedians with rapper status. Okay, yeah, facts, facts. We was comedians with rapper status. And, you know, I showed him the ropes. You know, he showed up. He said he wanted to tell jokes. He came to open mic. We was killing. And so we was cool. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, yeah, we, you know what I'm saying? We, we match. And, you know, we, so we used to just hang out. And I, I figured I had a little partner. But that's why I hang with rapper now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be rolling with somebody trying to do the same thing you trying to yeah. do the same size yeah. you know and you know people it's, hang together it's you know too much similarity. you go to thinking they wrote the joke and be telling your jokes on the road yeah. while, you know and and that, that 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 you know it just got to a point I'm gonna tell you straight up yeah. and I don't, I, ain't, I don't even visit the Dubai situation because like it's so it's so old it's yeah. so in the past you know what I'm saying uh we haven't talked and uh, I, I wish to sit down. We just, uh, one of my friends, Nard Holston, we just buried Nard. We just buried a lot of comedians, man. Shout out to Nard Holston. And I ain't talked to Nard two years. I'm going to tell you this. I ain't talked to Nard two years before Nard died. Hmm. And we, we, we was friends 27 years because he chose to take Duval's side. I'm going to talk about this part. You know what I'm saying? And they weren't even at his funeral. You know what I'm saying? Come to that man's funeral. They ain't even come to the man's funeral. You know, what happened between me and Duval, that's dead. I ain't got no, I ain't got no beef against him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I got jumped on, and, you know, it was, it, I was disrespected. And, you know, he had, the, he had, he, he, you know, that's the way the game was. You know that's what I'm right. saying? It, we was going tit for tat. <laughs> and so that's, that's, that's the, the infamous fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, I, I I don't roll in that light, and I ain't gonna sit here. I'm gonna say this: comedians, it's not rap game. Come on, do not be out there trying to beef and fight. <laughs> and man, don't do that. If you if you got a beef, it's in that olive branch. I just told all the comedians this the other night. We just at Dirty South, my sister, Dirty South from Comedy View, who put a leg behind yeah, her yeah. head. Yeah, yes, yes, we just buried her. <laughs> Dirty yes. South gone. Yes, we just buried Dirty no. South. I just, I just, I just hosted her memorial last night. We just buried her last I Monday. Dirty South, to man. my sister, man. We love you, Dirty. Do my lady rock this motherfucker? Hey. Hell yeah! Remember that? Yeah, man. Yes. That's crazy. Dirty South. You know what I'm saying? I lost Nard, Dirty South. These are the comedians who I grew up. You know, we all grew up as it's, it's, it's comedy children into you know comedy monsters. And Duval was one of the one one of the offsprings. Yeah, facts. You know, um, um, Tyler Craig, mm -hmm. rest in peace, Tyler Craig. Yeah, R.I.P. The moral of the story is, he wrote that. He wrote that, and I'm gonna I'm call it. I'm gonna call it like I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call a spade a spade, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna say this: that with you here, and the moral of the story is, everybody know Tyler Craig, the comedian, coined that phrase. Now, they say Lil Duval is going around doing more of the story is now. That's not cool. Don't be doing no my dead partner jokes. You know, that, that's, that's a no fly zone. On everything, don't be, please, if you're doing it, just stop. You know what I'm saying? Because that's very disrespectful. And, and, and Tyler, actually Tyler showed me. He like, look, look. He showed me Lil Duval. Doing the moral of the story is, I'm like, man. And then so I'm like, well, what you gonna call? You gonna have a conversation with him? He said, nah, I'm just gonna let him keep on doing it for a couple of months. Then I'm gonna call him and I'm gonna get my check. There it is. I, but Tyler died. <clears throat> so let's respect, let's respect him. And I'm 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 I'm, I'm gonna extend the olive branch again right now to the little Duval. Cause I I'm like I said. 
I'm a man of God. I let God move my feet. Stay. God ain't move my feet to go fight nobody. Amen. Ain't, ain't trying to hold no old beast, no old grudges. Matter of fact, I've been gave it to God because I can't get blessed walking around with no grudges. And brother, if you want your total blessings, then you need to get it off your chest on everything. You know, Lil Duval just broke his leg. I, he just broke his leg, you know. I had the same injury to uh, January 19, 2020, at the beginning of the pandemic. I had a head-on collision on my way to church and broke my femur and cracked my hip. I'm back at 100%. I work out at the gym. God gave me my legs back. That's almost impossible. <laughs> but I went through that for a reason, because God wanted to slow me all the way back. Bro, you're going through that for a reason, because God is trying to tell you something. Don't play the devil's game. And there it is. And there it is.